why aren't video games fun anymore? Video games aren't fun anymore because they're instant gratification. They're fun until you take the headphones off and then you just sat there knowing you're a waste of oxygen. The solution is to start doing delayed gratification habits instead. Delayed gratification is doing something that may be uncomfortable, painful, something you don't want to do right now, but doing it anyway and waiting out for a long-term benefit. Growing up, I never played many video games. I'd play like, uh, like in elementary school, I'd play Minecraft, I'd play Call of Duty. And then uh, towards the end of elementary school, you know, I'd play Fortnite, you know, when Fortnite was uh, just, when Fortnite just came out, you know, it was cool and stuff before it turned into wherever the fuck it is now, I don't even know. But I never really found myself addicted to video games, but I know that is not true for most guys. Most guys are fucking, <laughs> video games is all they fucking care about, that one hour a day of video games that they, they get to play. When they call up their boys on fucking Discord or wh whatever bullshit, and then they play a few rounds of COD or whatever the fucking Apex. But that was never a problem for me. And instead my problem was just being addicted to social media, being addicted to Netflix, and being addicted to all the other kinds of technological instant gratification activities. And at first it was fun, you know, like like when I was in 6th, uh, 7th grade, 8th eighth, eighth grade, you know, I'd like come home from school, you know, watch YouTube videos, you know. And when I had Instagram, you know, I'd, I'd look at Instagram, look at some funny posts, you know, binge watch Netflix shows on the weekends and shit like that. And it was fun, but something changed once. I think it was during like, I think it was during when quarantine first started happening and as I got into high school, it wasn't fun anymore. Doing all that fucking, being on my phone, doing all that shit, it wasn't fun anymore. Like, and I still did it though. That, that was the weird thing. I still did it. I still would scroll on Instagram for hours. I would still go on fucking watching cringy YouTube videos. But I wouldn't even find it that fun. I would just, I'd be staring mindlessly at my screen just like mouth open, mouth breathing. If you asked me, I would have been like, yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying myself. But like, it really, it's, it's, it was empty. That's the word I'm looking for. It was empty. And then eventually I found self-improvement and I found dopamine detoxing. And I went on my own dopamine detox to get off of social media, get off of the, all the instant gratification, junk food, Netflix, all that BS, fapping, porn, and try to start doing the good habits. Getting more into exercise and meditation, gratitude journaling, reading, improving my social skills, all of that. And it's been a long journey and I'm not perfectly uh, uh, clean of uh, fucking instant gratification dopamine shit, but, but there's been mass improvement. But most guys don't understand why this is happening. Like they, most guys can't put their finger on the feeling they, they, they get from video games right now. Like if you can relate to the title, you know what I'm talking about. That feeling like, oh yeah, it's fun. You know, you hop on, you know, with your friends, you do this and that, but it just doesn't feel the same anymore. It doesn't feel the same from when you were a kid. And that's because when you were a kid, you could get away with instant gratification. Like when we were kids, we could, we could have that lollipop or we could watch that show we wanted to watch. And, and be fine with it. We have our fun, and then once the show ends, we, we finish our candy or whatever bullshit. Then we go on with our life, we go play a game, we go do the, whatever, right? We could get away with that as kids, but now that we're growing up and becoming young men, we can't get away with it anymore. Because now as we're getting older, us men, we need, we need to have a mission. We, we need to have a goal or a mission that we're striving towards. We need to have at least one or, we need to have at least one goal or mission that's actually worthwhile. That gives us a purpose to, to do all of this, to do life. Gives us a meaning to, to get out of bed in the morning early, to hop out of bed with excitement. But the thing is most young guys, we don't have that because we're stuck playing fucking video games all day and stuck on Instagram and fapping, watching porn, you know, doing all this BS fucking bullshit. That's why video games aren't funny anymore because you know, Unconsciously, you know, your mind knows, your body knows that you should be out there doing something, striving towards something, but you're not. You're sat on your ass watching, oh, but, but, but it's only one hour of video games, but, 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 but League of Legends is fun. It, it, it's, it doesn't fucking matter because when you're sat on your ass wasting time and you know it's a waste of time. You can say whatever bullshit you want that uh, it improves hand-eye coordination, that a study is actually found it actually can improve your uh, cognitive ability. It doesn't matter because you know it's a waste of time and that you should be doing other things. You've been wanting to go to the gym for months now. 
you don't like the way you look in the mirror you want to start building muscle and losing fat and start building a body for yourself and get into weightlifting you'll join that sport and, and become more athletic what happened to that you had all these things that you wanted to do all these goals you wanted to set for yourself but then you sat there playing video games talking with your friends you know having a good time and that's the weird feeling you get that you can't really describe that you don't really understand you know why why all of a sudden now that, that you're older you don't enjoy video games the same way as you do from when you were a kid it's because we need to be doing other things video games are for kids and you can say like oh well well, well the, 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 the league of legends is different league of legends is, is for all ages for it's for teenagers for adults video games are for kids you can you can hate me as much as you want for that and and you can go back to playing your video games playing your apex league of legends whatever bullshit but clearly that's not working or else why would you click on this video but 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 i actually do like video games the rewards are not comparable what do you get from playing an hour of fucking video games you know you have some fun you know chat with you talk with your boys you know you get some kills in that you get that dopamine hit then the headphones come off then you're left with what the fun lasts up until you stop doing the activity once you once once you stop playing the fun's gone then you're just left there with the pain compared to delayed gratification something like exercise where you can go to the gym today do some crazy session lift lift the weights push yourself and it's gonna be painful it's gonna be uncomfortable you're not gonna want to do it and you're not gonna feel like getting up and going to the gym or getting up and putting on your running shoes whatever whatever you're doing but after you do it you feel proud of yourself you're like i'm glad i'm glad i did that that was painful that 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 sucked i hated that but i'm glad i did it and then down the road you know you you exercise you know consistently you keep doing it you keep going even if you know you know you have a few days where you where you skip the gym you have a few days where you, you don't push yourself as hard but you stay consistent and you keep going to the gym and then a year two years from now and you look in the mirror and you've built this body for yourself that you can actually feel proud of you can see the physical change that you made and look at that and smile and have this sense of gratitude for for your younger self putting in all those hours of working out all those hours of eating right of diet going on the right diet of doing the research as to to what exercises you should be doing all that work led up to where you are now the reward is not comparable and if you want to play hey if you want to play video games if you think that easy dopamine hit you get from video games is good enough for you fair enough but it's not good enough for me and i know it's not good enough for tons of young men out there because we're goal striving creatures we have to have a goal that feeling i keep mentioning that feeling that we can't describe about how video games aren't don't they don't feel the same anymore and let, let me let me tell you this analogy that i read from a book called psycho cybernetics which off topic but one of the best books of all time uh, the author maxwell maltz he used in the book was that your life is like riding a bike where <laughs> Yeah, all, all, all the fucking analogies are with your life is like some bullshit, but living your life is like riding a bike. If you want to stay on, if you want to stay on your bike, you have to choose a direction and go that way. And you have to move towards a direction. You have to choose a place you want to go and go to it. But if you don't, if you don't choose where you want to go and you just stay where you are, what happens? You fall over. That's why we, so many young guys, we feel lost in life. We feel like, we feel that like we're tumbling over on the bike. Because we don't have anywhere to go. And even if you, you see somewhere that you might want to go, you want to, you want to start exercising, you want to start hitting the gym, you want to start improving your social skills, you want to start being more confident, being a more confident man. You want to start take, taking back control of your life and stopping all these bad habits. Stop watching porn, stop going on Instagram. And start actually meeting new people, becoming that social guy, start talking to more girls and start going on dates and start becoming this high value man. You may see that, you may see that in the, in the distance of your mind, a possibility. You may see that potential, 
But if you don't move towards it, you fall over. You have to pedal towards what you want. You have to charge at what you want. And it's not fucking easy. It's not easy. If it was easy, you would have done it already. But like I said earlier, the reward is not comparable. Video games, easy to do. You sit on your ass, you, you like, oh, well, uh, Fortnite is hard, actually getting kills is really hard. Shut the fuck up, man. You sit on your ass, knowing that you're a poor excuse for a man. And then what? You get that easy dopamine hit. That like we said earlier, don't, doesn't really hit the same anymore. Or you do the difficulties of bodybuilding, the difficulties of getting into reading and meditation and getting into all those delayed gratification activities. They're not easy to do. But the results, the results are not the same. And you might be asking yourself, well, okay, I, I should stop playing video games. I should get a goal for myself. I should start going for this, um, get a goal, get a mission. But what goal should I choose? You want me to tell you a goal. You want me to give you, assign you a goal. That's not how it works. You want me to tell you, oh, join, get a gym membership and, or uh, start, start uh, going to a boxing club and join a sport. And you want me to say all that. But you already know. You already know what you should be doing. You already know in your mind that there's things that you're avoiding that you should be doing that you actually want to do. Habits that you want to start. Things that you want to start doing in your life. And that's where you should start. That's the area you should start in. And you want to actually set yourself a written goal. You want to write down on, your, on a piece of paper, on your notes app in your phone. You want to write down a specific goal that you want to achieve by a certain date. And be specific. Don't say, oh, I want to... Uh, gain more muscle by uh, the end of December. No, 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 no. Set a specific goal, something that you can measure, something that you can actually track and set it by a certain date, a specific date. But for my final words to you, no matter what you choose, whether you choose the, the easy pleasures of the video games and watching porn and eating junk food and social media, or you choose the the, the delayed gratification of exercise, meditation and reading and becoming a high value man. There's pain either way. You have the pain of knowing that you're just wasting your time all day doing these bad habits that you don't even like doing, that you knowing that you're destroying your life. And the pain of the pain and discomfort of working out, of going through the trials and tribulations of setting goals for yourself and failing and failing until you actually succeed. There's pain either way. And I keep saying it, and I'll say it again and again. The reward is not comparable. It's your choice. Which pain are you going to choose? Don't be afraid to give up the good for the great. Peace out.